everyone, welcome to Perfect eLearning. In this video, we are going to learn how to design an ATM machine using object-oriented programming concepts in Python. First of all, what is an ATM? An ATM is a machine that dispenses cash or performs other banking services when an account holder inserts his or her bank card. So, an ATM uh, looks like this and it does few functionalities when we insert our bank card that is there is a functionality known as account info it will be displaying all our account information like the account username the account number ifsc code etc the details of the account and there is another functionality known as check balance by using the check balance we can check the amount of money which is currently available in our bank account and there is another functionality known as withdraw that is we can withdraw our money from the ATM machine we can simply insert our bank card and we can request the amount of money we want and we'll be getting our money and we're adding one more functionality to ATM that is deposit that is we'll be depositing money to the ATM suppose we are having a bank balance of 10,000 rupees and we are depositing 5,000 rupees to the ATM machine then our total bank balance will be 10,000 plus 5,000 that we have deposited now. So total we are having our balance of 15,000. And then we have another functionality that is to quit. When the bank account user thinks all his transactions and all his queries, all his jobs are done, then he'll be using the quit functionality to quit the ATM. All the transactions will be done. So without any delay, let's check the code of this ATM machine. So we'll be using two modules here. One is random to get a random integer and another one is sys. Sys is used to manipulate different parts of Python runtime environment. Sys can be used when the user clicks on this quit option and random can be used to generate the transaction number. We'll be generating a random number for the transaction ID, right? Here we're using an ATM class which has few methods like account detail deposit. Let's discuss it in the later section. Firstly, we need to create a bank account for the user, right? So we are printing welcome to the bank of tech and then simple line here horizontal one and account creation title and we are taking the input of name of the bank account holder. First, we need to take the name as the input, right? Then we'll be taking the input of his account number. Please enter your account number as input and we are storing it in the variable account number. Then we are creating an ATM object of the class ATM by giving it the parameters of name and account number and then we are printing congratulations account created successfully so what's happening here we we are initializing an atm object here so let's look at here so atm class has a method known as define in it which initializes the object by taking the parameters of name account number and also a default parameter with balance as zero so whenever user creates an account the balance in his account will be zero right and self is the keyword used to declare a variable globally inside the class so we can use this name inside any method of the class so we are storing the name inside of dot name and the account number and also the balance by taking the default as zero and then we are running a while statement while true we are taking the input of the user that is whether he want to he or she want to do a transaction that is do you want to do in a transaction yes or no if the user enters yes, then we'll be calling another method known as transaction from the ATM, which we'll be discussing in the later section. If the transaction is no, that is if the user enters no, then we'll be printing a thank you message for the user. That is thanks for choosing us as your bank. Visit us again and we are breaking the while loop. If the user enters other than yes or no, we'll be asking them to again enter the command as yes or no, wrong command. So let's run this and check the code. Check the code. I have zoomed the code properly. Let's run it. Welcome to Bank of Tech account creation. Enter your name. Let's enter the name as Jack. And the account number is 12689. Congratulations, account created successfully. First, let's enter no. Enter. So, thanks for choosing us as your bank. Visit us again. So, we are breaking the loop if the transaction entered by the user is no. What happens if we enter other than yes or no? Let's again give the name as Jack. The name as 126689, the account number. Now we are entering any character that is not yes or no. Like Q, wrong command, enter Y for yes and then for no. So we'll be again entering the command like R. 
So we are running through a while loop. There is no break condition. We need to enter yes or no. Okay. We re enter no for it. Thanks for choosing us as your bank. Wish us again. Now, what if we have entered the transaction as yes? We are calling the ATM the transaction method. What's happening in the transaction method? Let's check here. Different transaction of self. Self is a keyword used to initialize the global variables. That is, the function is defined globally in this class and can be used globally in the class. First, we are printing the transaction details. That is, the we have a menu of five functionalities. First functionality is account detail. Second one is to check the balance. Third one is to deposit. And fourth one is to withdraw. And the last method is to exit the ATM machine, right? So we'll be printing the, all the options to the user after clicking on yes. Then we'll be running a while loop and taking the input of the user that is enter one, two, three, four, or five. That is the functionality you want to use. If the user enters uh, a choice which is not in one, two, three, four, five, or it is not a number, then we are printing an error message that is please enter one, two, three, four, or five only using the try and accept method. And in the else condition, the else condition will always be executed. So if the option selected is one, we are using the account detail function. And if the option selected is two, we are using the check balance function. And if the option is three, we are taking the input of how much money the user want to deposit, he want to take. And we are using atm.deposit of the amount function. And if the option is four, that is the withdraw option, we are taking the input of the money he want to or she want to withdraw and we are withdrawing the amount from the ATM and if the option is 5 exit we are simply printing the receipt that is the transaction is now complete and we are generating a transaction number using the random dot rand in function as we have imported the module here random we are using it here so random has a method known as rand and random integer which generates an integer between the given range that is between 10,000 and this number right and also we are printing the account holder information that is self.name.upper to print the name in uppercase and also we are printing the account number of the bank account customer and also the available balance self.balance and then we are printing message thanks for choosing us as your bank and then using the sys module sys to exit the program after completing the transaction right so now let's run the code and check so far how the code is running so let's enter the name as Jack and the account number as 12345689. This time we'll be doing a transaction. So we'll be writing, yes, we want to do a transaction. So we got five details. Let's click on exit for now, five. We'll be entering the choice five. Then we got a receipt here. Transaction is now complete. The transaction number, which is a random number generated between 10,000 and the big number given in the range and the transaction holder name that is Jack and the account number and the available balance is null zero because we didn't deposit any money right so now we'll be discussing what is the functionality of these four functions so firstly the account detail method let's go into it yeah here the account detail method it's printing a title with account detail and then we are printing the account holder information by converting the name into uppercase and then we are printing the account number and also the available balance using the self keyword self that account number and self that balance which we have initialized in the init function and then if the user selects option 2 we are clicking we are calling the function of check balance so let's check it out There is a method known as check balance here. Then we are printing the available balances self.balance that is the available balance of the customer. And then we are printing as empty line. Okay. And the third method is we want to deposit money into the ATM that is into the account of the user. So we are taking the amount as input, how much you want to deposit. And then we are using the ATM.deposit function of the amount. So let's check out what's happening in the deposit function. In the deposit function, we are creating another global variable inside the class known as self.amount and we are entering the value of amount in it. We are storing the amount in it, right? And then to the total balance of the customer, we are adding the amount he want to deposit. And then we are printing the current balances self.balance after adding the 
amount into the balance that is balance is equals to balance plus amount and they are printing a simple empty line so this is how we deposit money we'll be simply incrementing the balance coming to the last function that is withdraw we have also taken the amount of money the user want to withdraw and we are calling the function withdraw of amount right in the withdraw function, we are again declaring a global variable known as self dot amount in which we are declaring the value as amount. So, what if the bank uh, user has ten thousand in his account and if he draws withdraws fifteen thousand, he won't be able to do the transaction, right? So, first we need to check the balance. So, if the amount is greater than the balance present in his bank account, then we will be printing insufficient fund. Your balance is self dot balance only try with lesser amount than balance then we are printing a simple empty line so again the user will select the withdraw function and again he'll be entering am amount less than his balance so if the amount is now lesser than or equal to the balance we'll be simply deleting the amount from the balance that is balance is equals to balance minus the amount user wants to withdraw and then we are printing the amount that he has withdrawn successfully and finally we'll be printing the current available balance and then we'll be printing an empty line. Let's check all these four functionalities now. Let's enter the name, Jack. The account name is one two three four five six one eight five. Yes, we want to do a transaction. We'll be entering an yes. So the transaction menu is account detail, check balance, deposit, withdraw, exit. First, let's check the account detail, the option one. So our account detail is account holder name and account holder number and the available balance yes it's working perfectly fine now let's just check the balance let's enter the option two available balance is zero because we haven't deposited any money so let's before depositing let's try to withdraw the money how much you want to withdraw let's enter 100 rupees insufficient fund your balance is zero only try with lesser amount as we have not deposited any money we are getting this message so now let's deposit some money here now we will be choosing the deposit function so let's enter the option three how much you want to deposit let's deposit an amount of thousand rupees click on enter yes now the current available balance is thousand rupees let's check the account details once more let's click the option one so account holder name is jack and the account number and the available balance is thousand perfectly fine now let's withdraw the money that is the option four let's select four let's withdraw the money of 900 900 withdrawal successful and the current account balance is 100 again we can also withdraw an amount of 100 but not more than 100 let's try it again use the method four how much you want to withdraw four suppose let us say 200 as 200 is lesser than the bank balance we have, we'll be displaying a message insufficient fund. Your balance is 100 rupees only. Try with lesser amount of balance. So let's try rupees 100. Let's withdraw once more. 100. Yes, current account balance is 0. 100 rupees is withdrawal successful. And finally, let's once more try uh, depositing some more money and calling the account detail function. So depositing the money will be using the third option and also the amount of money we want to deposit like 5000 and let's check the current balance using two available balance is 5000 and let's print the details jack account name available balance is 5000 perfectly fine when we think all our transactions that is withdrawal deposit checking balance and account details are done we'll be calling the exit function which is fine so finally, we'll printing the receipt. Transaction is now complete. Transaction number is five zero nine six one. Uh, random number between the given range, and the account holder name, the account number, and available balance. Thanks for choosing us as your bank. So what we have done here, we have initialized a class ATM, and we have initialized using the define int method and the parameters of name, account number, and balance. And then we have defined few methods like account detail to print the details of the customer deposit to deposit money into his bank account withdraw to withdraw his money by checking if the withdrawal of money is greater than balance we are providing a message that is insufficient fund else that is if the balance he has more than what he has requested to withdraw then we'll be withdrawing the amount and deleting the amount from the balance and we have also defined a function of check balance 
and also a transaction method which runs while true until we choose the option file that is to quit the ATM. So this is how we have designed an ATM system using object-oriented programming concepts in Python. Hope you have understood. Thank you everyone.